Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's Instagram Live. Uh, thank you for joining myself and soon to be EL. We're going to be bringing him on ever so shortly. But for those of you that don't know who EL is, um, I don't know where you've been. He is uh, a man about town. He's uh, he's a fantastic bloke. Um, good friend of mine. We've known him for a couple of years. Um, and we're actually now officially working together, which is exciting, uh, which we'll talk about more later. But obviously, um, yeah, we're going to get him on. We're going to be talking uh, about his lockdown learnings and we'll be seeing what he's been up to, how he's been coping with things, um, essentially just kind of getting a vibe for what he thinks, everything that's going on and his views around it all. So, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, everyone, from wherever you are. Um, if you have any specific specific questions please pop them in the box at the bottom or drop me uh, an, a message afterwards if it's something you don't want to shout out in public um gosh loads of people joining in this is amazing um so yeah really really cool um el is uh is, is is a lovely guy he's been working on this project um which which are and i'll let him explain but uh yeah it's something really really exciting really really cool so and if, if you're into kind of wellness and, and exercise and, and, you know, motivation and life coaching, which I hope you are because you're watching this, uh, then it's going to be something you're going to be really interested in. So please stay tuned and, and, and uh, uh, see what he has to say. But yeah, I'm going to bring EL on now. Uh, let me push that for you. Perfect. If you have any comments, questions or anything, please let me know. Hello, How is he, man? I'm good, bro. How are you? Very well, thanks. Very well. You're looking like you're relaxed yeah. outside on a sofa. Always. Chilled. Oh, my balcony on a little bean bag. Mate, it's the best. Is living the life. Living the it life. <laughs> good stuff, man. Thanks. For, first, first of all, coming. Yeah, I'm, I'm brilliant. Thank you for asking. Good. I'm really good. I've had a, uh, I've had a good morning. I've, um, I set myself some goals this month, and one of them was to get up uh, and join the 6 a.m. club. And I've been, I've been consistent nice. since. And. Uh, it's amazing what you get done in the morning when you when you yeah. when you wake up and you like right. I'm, it's the first ten minutes you're like that, but <laughs> after it's, it's it's pretty good. You get lots done, so I feel quite productive today. Amazing. But um, mate, nice. thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate your time. I know you're a busy man. Um, but the reason I wanted to get you on is to sort of chat to you about how you've been coping through lockdown. I mean, uh -huh. it's been what ten, eleven weeks now. Um, I mean, it's, it's become kind of almost normal, hasn't it, to be in, in lockdown? I don't know what it was like before we went into this. But the questions I kind of wanted to ask you is kind of how, how have you been coping generally? What's, what's been your vibe? How's your roller coaster of emotions been over this couple of weeks? Do you know what? I think it started off quite difficult just because I think I lived my life at a million miles an hour and I haven't ever spent this much time at home. So then to go from a million miles an hour to zero miles an hour was a big shock to my system but after settling into it and don't get me wrong I think we all have up and down days I think um I've actually find a, I've found a lot of peace within this time and being able to just relax a little bit and focus on things that I want to focus on amazing that's great I mean it's it's such a good time to be able to focus on you because there's nothing else yeah. to distract you, right? There's nothing else to kind of be stopping you from doing what you want to do. So, uh, yeah, I think that you've done the right thing and kind of pushed forward with your, with your views on uh, where you want to go in your life, which is um, brilliant because it brings me on to my next topic of Empower by EL. Yes. Talk Empowered to me. By Tell everybody what is going on with Empower by EL. So this is amazing. I've always loved fitness um, and I've always found that through fitness I have this kind of mental clarity, you know, it allows me to really feel um, just relaxed within my mind at peace and also brings organisation to my life and I've wanted to do something for a long time that brings value to other people's lives, I didn't just want to, you know, set something up that was just for my personal gain and nobody else's and so during this time, I started to train a lot more. I started to focus on my training and I was doing a lot of Instagram lives. And throughout my experiences, I've also had a life coach who has helped me in certain areas and aspects of my life when I needed it most and allowed me or helped me to get to where I was. And so I was thinking about the idea to merge both fitness and kind of coaching and the mental health aspects so that fitness is... is a, your your life's work if you really love it and enjoy it and so the whole idea of empower is to equip people with the tools and 
the the knowledge and the guidance that they need in order to start or continue their fitness journey in a in a comfortable and inviting and ego free environment, but also giving them the tools to be able to stay motivated and consistent so that they they can kind of condition themselves into that motivation and consistency into all aspects of their life. And so that's really where Empower came from. And that is how Empower launched. It's amazing. I mean, the word itself just says exactly what it does on the tin. You know, the Empower word for me is one that just speaks strength it speaks unity it speaks everything about kind of what you're trying to achieve and i think that what you're doing is is great it's helping people from afar that you know in this time can't necessarily get that help from elsewhere so you know your your following is 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 something that has has come because it's because of you it's not something you've done in a previous life and now you're doing this it's not you you know what's this and now you're that it's it, you you've become who you are and you are a you know a, a person that people like as you are so your philosophies have been embedded into that which i think is which is really really cool um how i've seen a lot of love actually on, on the messages from people saying they're loving they're loving the power by el and loving the workouts and stuff how is it how have you found it from you know two weeks ago when you started to like right now where where, where you are now i think it's interesting because you know something goes from an idea into into actually an active program an active working and at first it was just an idea and then I was quite apprehensive of the launch of it and not really knowing um how it was going to work but since launching it and up until two weeks I you know I I like it because we're starting off with a really small dedicated community that are that are really enjoying what they're getting and we're all growing together we're all learning and um that is the point of empower you know i am becoming empowered and feeling empowered by empowering other people and learning from everything that's going on so it's it, it's been a journey and it's going to continue to be one but so far it's been amazing amazing what do you think the biggest biggest takeaway from your journey from start of lockdown to starting empowered by el to where you are now and everything in between what do you think the biggest takeaway from that is as in if it never happened what do you think you, you you know you wouldn't have right now i think i think there's been a massive realization for me that if you don't start something you'll never know and you know you've got to like the hardest part about the whole journey is is actually deciding to do something but once you put those first steps into action then everything else slowly falls into place and I think go and learning to go with what works and what flows and, and what makes sense and empower was something that as soon as I had the idea and started, it was just a domino effect. And as much as I put a lot of effort into it, it wasn't an effort trying to get it done or launch it. It's yeah, you're absolutely right. I think there's a lot of, to be said for just starting something that you're passionate about. You know, there's a lot of times in my life and I'm sure you've had the same in yours where you've thought to yourself, Oh, I'd love to do this or I'd love to do that but then kind of it's just become an idea or it's just something in, in your mind that you don't share with others and therefore it then never really happens so you know the fact that you took the initiative to a start it but also follow it through shows you know much much more than anyone could have ever you know it shows more than you could ever have done if you were just to think of it and tell someone once and then it never happens it shows you know your integrity and your and your drive and also now you've started the rest is almost just like exciting and easy you can just keep Definitely. going with what you're doing yeah, i think what always scares me is having ideas and have and and getting to the end of my life and thinking what if you know and i think that that is something i try and i try and make sure i don't i don't do by the end of my life I don't look back and think oh you know I could have done this what if I did that oh my life would have been this if I did that or that I'm actually acting and whether it works or it doesn't at least I know that I I tried it and therefore I can say I did it and it did or it didn't work yeah exactly. I mean as the, as the expression goes you regret the things in life that you didn't do but things that you did and yes. you know I'm sure you have been through many things in your life where you've maybe in, in inverted commas failed to most people's eyes but I, I look at it and think failure isn't isn't actually a failure at all it's a learning experience you know there's there's the the, the acronym actually the word fail f-a-i-l stands for first attempt in learning right if you break yes. it down and that's exactly what it is you know if you do something 
where if you do something right the first time great learn from that but if you do it wrong it's almost a better learning experience because then you know exactly not what to do next time so yeah and I, I think that your your journey through that's going to be amazing and i think it's going to be super exciting to to, to follow you and also come with you because obviously for those that don't know i'm, I'm working with the as, as the mindset yeah, life coach sure on on uh, on empower and uh, if you become part of the empower community you will be able to join us live every wednesday uh to talk about all the mindset and my motivation around training specifically and kind of just getting yourself in that that good mind frame about right i want to i want a goal to achieve how can i get there you know maybe there's something going on in your mind that you can't quite get out you've got some some confidence things going on or you maybe just don't know how to start i can help you with all that and, and el can help you with all that and it's going to be you know a fantastic project going forward Definitely. Um, Jack's, Jack's excellent and he's a great asset to Empower and the people that have joined Empower have benefited so far so it really is, it's just the start of the journey and, and it's an exciting one. Fantastic. Um, when it comes to your, I suppose, outside of Empower and outside of everything that's going on work-wise for you, on a day-to-day -day basis, what is it that's keeping you from just stay in bed all day or you know not really bothering with the world and you know you're a busy man but i feel like your energy is always so upbeat and so high and so so purposeful how do you keep that up each day in order to come to the world i think it's um what we actually discussed once about feeling accomplished you know and i either reach an end of the day and i don't feel very accomplished and then i'm quite down in the dumps about it or I know that if I get out and I do what I want to do and I push myself and even though I hate the mornings but I get up and out and then I get to an end of the day and I feel accomplished I I then I'm excited about the next day and that feeling and rewarding myself with that feeling amazing so would you say that the compound interest if you like of today's work will have more of an impact on tomorrow the next day oh, and the next 100%. day going forward Definitely. And not every day is going to be a great day, you know, and you're definitely going to have those um, battles. But I know what I want to achieve and I know how I want to achieve it. And I also know that I'm the only one that can do that for me, of course, mm. with the help of others around me. But if I'm not the driving force, then then it's never going to get done. So therefore, always wanting to do better and be better, I think, gives me that motivation in order to, to keep on going, even when it's not so easy. Absolutely. I mean, you mentioned there just how it's it's all about how you perform and how you do things, and you're the only person stopping you from doing that stuff. How does how does that how does that happen when you've got days when you've got things that are externally affecting you from left, right, and centre, and you know you've got to do something, but you just haven't got the energy, you haven't got the the the, the drive to do it. Do you how do you deal with that? I think it's about recognizing that emotion and then moving away from it, you know? Um, it's about allowing that emotion to be there and to sit and to understand it and maybe try and navigate through why it's fe why you're feeling that way. Or, you know, again, we've spoken a lot about things that serve you and things that don't. And mm. if something, you know, if something truly serves you, then it's something that you want to do. But if something isn't going to serve you or there's... Um, exterior kind of things that are getting in the way that isn't serving you then you're gonna you're gonna find excuses not to do that so in the future you've got to work out what serves you and what doesn't and then act within the things within that circle of yours absolutely you've got to you've obviously also got to look at where things in your life aren't necessarily doing you any be good in, in what you're trying to achieve you know there's there's a lot of things in the world that are coming at you from left right and center and and, and there always will be but it's understanding what's essential you know and what what means what can you focus on now that's going to help you get to where you want to go and unless you have that unless you i suppose you could call it a purpose if you don't unless you have that purpose it really you really struggle to kind of keep yourself on track and you end up doing a lot of sort of like wiggly lines around the sort of same area before you end up getting to the, to the point in which you set out to do originally. So yeah, I totally get that. I totally resonate with that. Um, Eyal, before we uh, before we wrap this up, I'm conscious that you you've got someone to be this afternoon, so uh, I, I don't yes. want to keep you too long. You're going to a very important place, and I do appreciate your um, time. Um, no, so obviously there are people commenting about the Black Lives Matter movement, which is going on right now. Um, I think it's fair to say Jack and I both stand united with the black community. Um, I'm going to the protest this afternoon. 
And so for all you guys commenting, black lives do matter. And there is an injustice within society that we are actively trying to change as people, as human beings. So um, we stand united with you guys. So please don't believe that we don't or don't think that we don't care because we do care and we will use our platforms and we will unite and we will make change because change is what needs to happen. So we love you. Absolutely. Peace and love. I do, Jack. yeah. It's 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 a uh, it's a uh, mate. You couldn't put it better. I couldn't put it better myself. And you and you're absolutely right. You have the ability to to spread the word to a lot of people. And uh, you know, I know how much you feel about this this topic and the passion you have with this. So yeah, I think that for everybody listening, um, I think that you know we have to trust the the process of the right people, but also do our bit to help everyone that's that's going through these awful times. So yeah, thanks for saying that, mate. Appreciate it. Um, thanks. Before we before we head yes. uh, off, I just wanted to ask uh, a couple of sort of quick fire questions to uh, to you to see if you're interested, so we can get you to know you a bit better. Um, so are you ready? Are you ready to get these? I don't know if I'm ever ready for quick fire questions. <laughs> Let's go. Perfect. Right. First question: What is the hardest challenge that you've been you've been nominated for during the whole lockdown? The hardest challenge. Oof, I think I nominated myself for one, and I ran a half marathon on my balcony. Um, oh, if- man, man. I remember that. I remember that. That was the. Um, I started <laughs> off to do a five k, and then I was like, "Nah, I is I need to do a ten k at least." And then I just <laughs> kept on pushing it and pushing it. Took me two hours running in circles, but it was it was fun. It was really. Mate, that's cool. awesome. Good for you. Good for you. Um, would how would you describe yourself in three words? Oh no. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that old chestnut. Um. Motivated, optimistic and caring and I like I've, it I've got yeah, like it. That I can <laughs> yeah, yeah at least as long as long as your arm I like it and um, mate what's the best piece of advice that you've ever been given fuck what people think like Bold. short like and it. sweet and done i think well my mum would say it to me but not quite in those words but as in you know you're never going to be able to please everyone. You can never achieve what you want to achieve if you listen to the opinions of others because other people's opinions come with jealousy and all sorts of other reasons for why they don't want you to achieve what you want to achieve. And if you've got a dream and if you have a goal, then go out there and chase your dreams and achieve your goals because anything is possible. You've just got to do what you want to do. Fantastic, mate. That's a wonderful advice, especially coming from your mum. That's amazing. I love that. I love that. Um, what is, well, what would you say to your 21-year-old self? If you could go back and go, hey, yeah, 21, what are you saying? I knew it then, but I didn't know it as much, but just trust the process and yes. don't be so hard on yourself. You know? Like it. Like, don't don't overthink too much and just enjoy the times that you're spending in the moments that you have you know yeah. because they don't come again and at 21 I thought I was so old but actually I wasn't and <laughs> you do you think you kind of put the world on your shoulders that age but actually there's so much more to have and it's amazing when you look yeah. back on it like you go you know I had a lot of, you know I, I'd always say just have a lot of fun have a lot of fun while you can yeah. because life would get a bit more complicated when you get older yeah um yeah. what is a, are you reading any books at the moment if so what are you reading and how is it how are you finding it so I'm I've been trying to um the Celestian prophecy or the Celestine prophecy which is okay. um like a spiritual journey awakening book um I've had it for a while. I, I'm still struggling to let it captivate me. And I always struggle with a book because if the book doesn't really hit me and captivate me and I don't immerse myself in it, then I, I find I spend a lot of time trying to read nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally get that, man. It's going to either like, resonate with you in the first 50, 100 pages or whatever, and then other, otherwise you just have to put it down, got to call it, cut, cut your losses, as I say. Um, what would you say the greatest strength is? my mindset like it like it that's probably why we we and you get on yeah i'd have to say my mindset because no matter how many times you're you're kicked down you've got to get back up and i think that that's been instilled from me and i've instilled that in myself 
Absolutely, mate. Love it. Absolutely. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there because I know that you've got places to be and things to do. But look, mate, if anyone wants to find you or know more about you, they can check you out on 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 your uh, Insta handle here. And obviously, at Empower by El is the other um, your other obviously your company, your business yes. that you just started. Check it out. Have a look. Uh, this will be up on my IGTV for everyone to see. So yeah, man, I appreciate your time. I really do. And look, have a have a impactful afternoon. I think it's the best way to put it. Thank you. You too. Take care, Mate. everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Peace and love, guys. Bye. Bye. Guys, thanks so much for joining us on that IGTV, uh, IGTV live with EL. Um, he's got to go off and do some fantastic work uh, for the community and for, for the world. So, yeah, um, I, I appreciate him and I appreciate what everyone is saying in, in the messages. So, uh, thank you for tuning in and I hope that you got some insight into Yao's life and I'll see you again tomorrow for another live. Peace out.